Hey guys, it's me again, Orkslayer. What ifs? Where we last left off. Let's see, check, check, checking. I'm gonna continue on actually with the what if Clayton Carmine was in Ruby because I've actually had a lot more ideas with this one recently. So here's how it went with last time we were here. They all got together, Clayton and all their teams got together and were actually sent on a mission that would typically be rated for a higher. Like, higher... Anyways, sorry for that interruption, but... Essentially... Triple C, B, and Madame... Were all assigned to a single mission to, to come up, like, to make up for the fact that they didn't have enough second years, or, well, I'll actually say third year students. And depending on the ranking within the system, because I'm going to say they have rankings for teams... Triple C, B, and Madame are actually very high up there with how great their team is. Like, with when it comes down to grading, it comes down individual effectiveness and then teamwork. These sort of things are depicted on separate categories. And they take all of the account, like, all the categories into account, like, how they work alone and how they work together in a team. It was... Give me a second. It was actually shown that Madame and Triple C B actually had the highest teamwork, like amount of teamwork, like how great they work as a team, shown in like over like for like th like over a decade. They have had the highest scoring teamwork out of every other team. Now other teams come up with combos with one or like they'll be able to work together, but they don't really have to rely on, nor did they really rely on each other. And Ospin sees this as a good and bad thing. Because they can't rely on each other, become too reliant on themselves, teamwork and kind of get mixed up. But not with Triple CB and Madame. They have actually gotten down to where it's like a military squad pretty closely. But they mix the Hunter-esque abilities that they have. And he actually really likes that, so he's allowing them to send them on this mission as a test run to see how effective they can really be in open world scenarios. He sent Miss Goodwitch with them just as like a lot of extra backup because she is one of the toughest teachers they got. And if you guys remember, essentially what happened was is that they found that the entire military like military group was wiped out like completely there is nobody left so essentially what's happening is now they've hunkered down and are waiting it's nighttime and they just heard roaring in the sounds of horns in the distance they have taken over essentially the little outpost that they have to be in and have guns point in the directions and they have been able to set up traps so this is essentially going to be a firefight that they're going to have to survive all night now thankfully thankfully they found out that they actually had some ammo reserves here as clayton made the uh torque bows and all that and they carry their own supply so they got quite a bit of ammo but he made sure that the ammo, the ammunition that a lot of them would end up using would be available widely. Like, very common. So, let's just say, for instance, they're shooting, like, 5.56 five, or something like that. Something, a very common round that you would see at a military outpost. That, it's essentially the same weapon, same ammo type, that is prescribed to the standard rifle. Just let's just say that. Instead of trying to go into details. That's essentially what they have at the moment. And they got a stockpile of it. So they're confident that they won't run out of ammo as quickly as they probably would have if they just had their own reserves. And Clayton and them are ready and Miss Goodwitch has been actually equipped with some armor. Since they're like, she pretty much came in what she wears typically. And since they don't want to rely, like, with her semblance, they just want to be careful. And they all have armor, essentially. They all have actual armor equipped. Like, when Carmine actually was able to talk with them and Baird, they were able to design the combat armor that everybody wears. 
So it's tough, durable, and can be light. Depending on which variant they're wearing. As they're all waiting there, and they hear the horns going off, Mark is like, Alright guys, get ready! Alright. As they aim their weapons, as everyone's ready, and unfortunately, they're unable to get the hammer of dawn at the moment. I'll explain in a little bit. As essentially they're waiting and waiting, they're like, Alright guys. And then they just start seeing these creatures on... Not on all fours, no. These things are walking upright. And Marcus and them are like, what the... Uh, and they f ran into one of them in the beginning. Marcus is like, it looks like that wasn't the only one out there, guys. Whew. Sorry. Cole and them are... Cole is hyped up. He's like, let's go, baby. Woo! I can't do the woo. I'm sorry. As they're ready in the hype, as Clayton's just like, Come on, you bastards. I'm ready. As Cynthia's just like, Phew. As immediately, they hear, they see these things roar a bit, and then they start charging at them. As it's like, Open fire! As immediately, rounds start, you start immediately hearing the sounds of gunfire all over. As they think these things are just going to try to get closer and closer, they actually get fire returned back. I was like, what the? These things have guns. What the heck? I didn't know Grim knew how to use guns. We didn't either. Keep shooting. So Miss Goodwitch is actually using a Boltox she got. She fires, like, since it's a very high power round, it's going to go farther, I would say. And she gets actually some of the ones lingering in the back shooting, trying to like snipe, you could say. She shoots and pretty much the bolt hawk blows up their head. She's like, Whew, it's been quite a long time since I've used a weapon like this. As Marcus and them are like, You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job, Miss Goodwitch. Just keep firing. As they keep on firing, firing. We see a woman off in the distance standing next to a very, very tall creature like this. He's easily, I would, probably about the size of Hazel, maybe a bit taller than him. And she's like, hmm, it seems I was not mistaken to actually work with the person who decided that I wanted to try you out, you can say. Hmm. This has been quite surprising and pleasant. <sighs> Do not disappoint me. She goes to walk as it has, it's one of these, it's not a woman, but it's like, you know, those little ball things. As essentially, you can tell who that was. That was Salem. As Rom is, well, essentially, yeah. Sorry for that. But yes, it is Rom, as most of you could probably tell. As he has a couple of slightly taller, let's just call them Therons at the moment. As they're like, Orders! As Rom is like, Slaughter them! As he just, as immediately you see things start flying in the air. As they start coating the skies with sort of mist, that you, like ink, they can't see past. As Anya's looking up, she's like, what the... Guys, are, look at the sky! As she can see, as you, they all look up for a little while. At least a couple of them look up and they see that there's just ink going into the sky. Glinda tries to get in contact with... Second. Uh, hmm, I hear something. Give me a second. Okay, went back and looked at it just for a little bit. Yeah, um... So essentially, they tried to get in contact with Raven King the day earlier, but they couldn't. So Miss Goodwitch looks around actually a little bit. And she's like, um, um, she sees a radio system. Now, as far as she can tell, when they came here, the base wasn't too damaged. So she wants to see if she can maybe get in contact that way. She starts getting into contact. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse King Raven. She as they hear it's like. Good witch, what happened? It's just like, can you guys respond? Have you seen any strange activities? Like, uh, 
No, nothing outside of the forest. We haven't been able to get clear. Our instruments started acting funny, so we backed off for a little bit. Why? What's the problem? New, a new grim type has been found. We need backup. They're blocking out the skies with something. And he's like, oh, we're on our way. He's like, shoot up, boys. We gotta go help the kids. So y'all get in there. King Raven start actually taking them off. And he's like, as they're actually on their way, I'm gonna cut to the King Ravens. They're like, boss, what are we gonna do? He's like, what do you mean we're gonna do? We're gonna swoop in. We're gonna swoop in there. Save them. Pull them out of the fire. And get back to... <laughs> Get the, back to Beacon. What else are we going to do? It's just like, boss, these things took out an entire battalion. You don't think they may have some heavy weapons or something? It's like, as far as I know, I don't care. We're getting there and we're helping them. That's it. It's like, boys, buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. As we cut back to the firefight that's going on, it's like, the, as King Raven's like, ETA, 10 minutes. It's like, all right, guys, we got 10 minutes. Just hold out for much longer. As at this point, this firefight has been going on for a couple of hours. As they're like, Miss Goodwitch. As they keep on, like, getting more ammo, like, as Clayton goes to reach for a mag that was next to him, he's like, crap. He's like, I got one more magazine. As he starts firing again, as at this point, if the bodies were still around, the bodies would be piled up to, like, at least... A couple of bodies on top of another. That's how many rounds they fired. There's like piles upon piles of bullets next to each person. Some of them like, you know, like with um, Maria. I remember I actually gave her a torque bow. She has resorted to using that because she didn't want to waste the ammo like in the beginning. So she used one of the weapons that were lying around. She wanted to save those just in case for extra hard opponents. As mm, when it came down to it, as they looked around, they saw the locust weapons actually were dis not disappearing entirely. That they were still there. But they lost, like, from what they could tell, it had, like, they, it lost its red shine to it. As they're like, as some of them are like, are, are, are the weapons alive? As one of them actually got close enough to where Clayton, I would actually say, a locust was able to jump up by digging, burrowing underneath. And it jumped up. Clayton pulled it in, grabbed the gun out of its hand, and just bashed it in the head. As he went to look at the gun, it actually kind of screeched at him. He's like, oh, what the... As he threw it down and just stepped on it, cracking it in half. He's just like, I think the guns they're shooting are actually grim. As like, oh, come on. As they take cover a bit from a fire, fire, from bullets being launched their way. As everyone's just trying to make it on by. Just doing the best they can. As they all start saying, we're running out of ammo. As they get closer and closer. As then you actually hear like whispering. It's like, kill them. As Marcus looks over and as he sees his big, very big rim thing. He's just like, as he's like, oh shit. As he's like, I think that's the boss, Marcus. It's like, I know, Dom. As he starts lighting him up, as pretty much Rom grabs a locust right next to him and just lifts it up as it just starts taking all the shots. So at this point, it's like, Anya, use a hammer. She's like, there's too much ink. I can't. It's like, crap. As Marcus is like, use your last round wisely, people. As it's like, as just before, like, they still have that tiny bit of there. King Raven's like, we have arrived. Or repeat, what the? As they see the ink surrounding just above them. As they see cre like things floating in the air. As they're like, take out those, whatever those are. As immediately they just start shooting whatever's in the sky or whatever they can see. 
as Rom takes notice of this, and so he retreats back into the brush. As the King Ravens land, like, above, like, sort of hovering, hovering above where the little, like, outposts, they immediately rush upstairs as Clay and all of them are like, Go, go! As he immediately have some grim breaking down the door. And the King Ravens are being shot at. But thankfully the small like. The small like the gun grim. Their bullets let's just say that. Like quote unquote bullets. Aren't piercing the armor thankfully. It's like go 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 go. As one of them break. As Grim breaks down the door. He immediately gets lit up by Marcus. And Dom as they're like we'll cover you get up. As Clayton's like thanks guys. As Clayton goes up. First, just to ensure, like, there's nothing waiting up at the top. As there's a couple of Gimp Grim trying to climb up, but he kicks, goes over and just, like, shoots them off, like, the edge of the building. As everyone starts loading up, it's like, go, go, go! Everyone loads up into their own separate ravens. As eventually, they all are able to load up and fly out of there with King Ravens just kept on laying down covering fire. As Glinda and all of them are just like, oh! As Clayton's like, oh, thank God. Oh. Guys, how how are you all doing? As Marcus, as Cole's like, man, that was too close. So he's like, you okay, Clayton? He's like, I'm fine. Baird, what about you? She's, as Baird's just like, I'll be honest with you. I thought we were going to die. And she's like, you always think we're going to die. He's like, no, but that time I was serious. As Glinda radios in, trying to like, I need you to get me in contact with Dospin. Immediately. It's like, alright, but you guys have been missing one heck of a day. It's like, excuse me? She's just like, back at Beacon? Whew, a whole heat blow of trouble sprung up apparently. She's like, well, we weren't able to get in contact with you for a couple of days. They kept us there, and sure, they launched, like, little raids, but nothing too big. It's like, yeah, what are those things, is what the uh, person, King Raven 2, I'm just going to say. He's like, I don't know, what do you guys think? As Clay, as Mark is like, it's obviously a new breed of Grimm. As if we didn't have enough to deal with, but... It doesn't matter. Put them all. We'll all kill them all. We'll wipe them out all the same. So I'll just take a moment to rest. As then they get this. Uh, sort of call from Beacon I guess. As I hear it. Repeat. Repeat. Beacon under attack. It's like what? Grim have broken. Have used the subway tunnels. From Mount Glen. To break underneath and attack the city. Reinforcements requested. Hunter team students. Hunter students. Huntsmen. I'll not say hunter. Huntsmen students. Are on the way. And dealing with the situation. Requ backup requested. It's like. So Mark is like. It's one. Of, as Cole's like. It seems like it's one far fight into the next. It's like. How long do we got till we're there? It's like, just one, just ten minutes. It's just like, <sighs> as I'm going to say, these King Ravens are going as fast as they can. They're like hauling it. Um, you know what? I'll say it's been like an hour since flying. Just to make it like, give them a bit of rest instead of like, you know, being pulled in and then shoved back in. Sorry about that. I accidentally pressed the pause button. That was very, very clumsy of me. But essentially, it's been an hour, they're flying back. As they're making their way to Beacon, they all start, like, do we even have ammo? As Clayton's like, yeah, it looks like it. As they, like, start going through, it's like, am I glad that they packed a lot of ammunition on this boat? On these ships? It's like, mm. It's like, yeah, me too. Uh, as Baird's just like, do we have to? It's just like, Baird, all right, Baird, come on. People need our help. It's just like, ah. so as they pretty much get open and get the ammo and all that, 
they're essentially like, you know what? Yeah, this is gonna suck. As they're all suited up and ready to go, as, as Miss Goodwitch is just like, huh, students, I hate to do this to you, but yes, you must go straight and <sighs> straight back forward in combat. So it's like, it's fine, Good Witch. Well, we thought this might happen. It's what we signed up for, right, guys? As they're like, yeah. As they get above there, they all drop down. As she says that she notices that a couple of Grim are actually going after civilians a little bit farther away from their initial breakthrough. So she actually jumps down first and says, drop them off more at the center of it so that way they can handle things. As they agreed, as they come along the way, they see where a couple of people are actually being targeted by Grim. And so they decide down and drop drop down in pairs of two. So that way they can probably spread out their max of their efficiency in holding back the Grim. So it's like two, 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 two. Clayton, Cynthia, Colbert, Dom, Maria, Anya, Marcus. So they somewhat form a perimeter, each one holding down a street, you could say. They're just shooting and blasting. As they use... Whatever they got. <sighs> Sorry. They use whatever they have at their disposable, disposal, essentially, to hold back the Grim. Thankfully, Ruby and them are doing work in the middle, so they're able to hold their own pretty well. As they essentially, as Clayton and them run out of ammo more quickly, so then they just start switching to, like, the chainsaws and the bayonets that they got. As, thankfully, by the end of the day, it is very, very successful. As they all take a moment to just sit down, and they're like, Ugh. <sighs> This day sucked. It's just like, you te you're telling me. As they meet up with Ruby and Juniper, they essentially all sit down and discuss what they saw, and we'll cut to Miss... Oh, not Miss Good... Just Glenda. As she's talking to Ospin about the report about the new type of Grim. As Ospin's listening to this, he's rubbing his chin, he's like, I once knew a woman... Saw of splicing the, our DNA with Grim. Try and make a different breed to see if that would help. It's like, you think this is her work? It's just like, for all we know, it could be, couldn't. But from what it seems, these creatures are hostile. and shall be dealt with accordingly. She's like, do you think it's her? She's like, I have no doubt it is. Nothing like this could have been achieved without her help. She's like, so what was the point of ambushing a, just a platoon of soldiers? It's like a live fire exercise? Who knows? As far as I know, you... But, as far as I know, we'll just have to wait and see. But aside from that, how did the team fare well in the situation, given everything that went wrong? As she explains that, they performed extremely well under duress. And being able to set up a perimeter, or not perimeter, but hold down a base and hold it for a long period of time. Or at least an extended period, she'll say that. They did well. It's less like, hmm, keep that in mind. As he just sips all his coffee, he's like, have you talked to any of them about anything they noticed? She's like, Marcus did say he noticed something. He's like, what's that? He's like, they know he noticed a much larger one amongst them. It looked stronger too. And it picked one up and used it as like a, pretty much a body, like a meat shield. He takes his chin, he's like, hmm, these Grim could be intelligence. Anything else is like, their weapons were Grim as well. Mm -hmm. That cannot be good. And, sorry to ask him, anything else again? He's like, they used a tactic. It seems as though 
that they were blocking out the sky to disrupt communications. But I'm unsure of that. Because as far as we were able to see, it seems that we were still able to get to King Raven. He's like, so it seems like those things are not fully perfected yet then. That is good. It would be a real trouble, a real hassle if they were able to completely cut out communications. <sighs> like, what should we do Tell then Hothman? He's like, hmm. Nothing. <sighs> Nothing. I will make it aware to the Atlas. Not Atlas, but to the council of how we should handle this. It's like, all right, I understand. It's like, hmm, no. Goodbye, Miss Goodwitch. Get some rest. You need it. She's like, thank you. As that's where I'm going to be ending this one off at. I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys continue to enjoy this. And hmm, nothing at all. I'm just going to try and incorporate more Gears of War sort of stuff into it. But anyways, hope you guys have a nice day. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys continue to enjoy this. Hope you guys have a nice day. Nice night. Nice life.